In this first episode of the Vehicle AI tutorial series in Unreal Engine 5, we will be taking it pretty slow and do some basic setup for our AI, such as adding an AI controller and adding inputs to our AI. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here we have a basic project inside of Unreal Engine. It's just the vehicle templates in glue of Unreal Engine. Now of course you can go ahead and use any car you want. It's just that this vehicle template is in glue of Unreal Engine. So it'll just be a bit easier for everyone watching this video to go ahead and use the template to follow along. Now with that out of the way, the first thing we want to do is make an AI controller. Now if you don't know what an AI controller is, an AI controller is just like the player controller we use to send input to the vehicle but specifically made for AI. The idea is that with very minimal efforts we can make an AI drive the same car a player does which means that we don't have to make separate AI version of cars. No, both the player and the AI can share a car with very minimal changes. And the benefits is also that with an AI controller you can usually swap around player and AI so maybe if your player has finished the lap in this game an AI can go and take over you know like uh like a finishing lap i know mario kart usually does this that's but i can think of a lot of other games that does anyway that's all the benefits of an ai controller and that's why we're going to be using that so let's go ahead and make an ai controller first we're going to open up our content browser right click and create a new folder we're going to call this folder ai and we're just going to save all our ai stuff in here so we're going to have quite a lot of files over this tutorial series and they yeah, so now that we've created that folder, we can go ahead, double click and open it up. You can right click and create a new blueprint class. Now our AI controller is not listed under common. So we have to click on all classes over here in the bottom and then type in AI controller. So controller. And there's going to be three options. AI controller, detour crowd AI controller and grid path AI controller. Now you just want to select the normal AI controller. So over here, you just want to click on that and then go to the bottom and click on select. We're going to rename this to AIC or AI controller underscore vehicle AI should be a pretty good name. We're just going to press enter to save that. We're going to double click to open it up and then we're going to dock it to the main vin uh, window and we're going to go to the event graph. Now in this event graph is where we're going to put most of our AI code but for this tutorial we're not really going to have a lot of AI code. This is just general setup. Now one of the most important things is up is input. Now a player controller can easily send input to the vehicles we are driving. So if I go to my vehicle example map, hit play, then you can see I can drive this car pretty easily. Now the problem is that even though the AI controller is quite similar to the player controller, it doesn't send inputs in the same way. So specifically for the AI controller, we're going to have to make a custom input system, um, as in we're going to have to call functions on the car related to inputs from the AI controller. Now for that, the easiest thing to do is to use blueprint interfaces, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's try to get the vehicle this AI is currently driving and then we can talk about the best way to send input to it so right next to the event begin play you want to right click in the open and type in pawn actually let's type in get controlled pawn there's going to be this node called get controlled pawn you just want to add that and what this will do is it will take the controller so if you have an ai or player controller it will return the current car it is controlling and this return value will be the current car the AI is controlling so we want to drag off this return value and promote it to a variable. We're going to call this variable uh, control vehicles should be a good name and then on begin play we're going to set this value. Now of course if your race is starting you probably want to set this value um, kind of like before the race starts but um, for this tutorial just doing begin play will suffice. And now that we have this controlled vehicle um, the usual thing you would would probably do is drag off this you know type in third uh, type in for example vehicle and then you cast to the vehicle you want to now the problem is with casting is that it's very limited so if i wanted to add more vehicle types i'd have to cast multiple times it also gets pretty expensive so we're going to be using blueprint interfaces because that's the easiest to do as well as it adds support for more different types of vehicles 
vehicles. So if you want to maybe race a bus if you really want to do, you can easily do that. So let's go ahead and create a blueprint interface which will specifically call input functions on our main car. To do that, we're going to open up our content browser, right click, go to blueprint and then click on blueprint interface. We're going to call this BPI for blueprint interface underscore um what can we call this um we can call this is vehicle um usually with my blueprint interfaces i like to phrase them as questions so i'm just gonna save that and i'm going to go ahead and double click and open this now if you make a blueprint interface there's automatically a new function created so this function we're going to go ahead and rename to uh set throttle and if you couldn't guess the idea is that we're going to add functions specifically for setting the throttle brake and steering of our car so that the ai can call this and send input to the vehicle okay so now that we have set throttle we're going to go to the top right uh, top right under my blueprint and click on add click on add new function we're going to call this set uh break and then finally now that we have set throttle and set brake we probably want to have set steering so just under my blueprint again we're going to click on add and go to function and then finally we're going to rename this to set steering okay and let's go ahead and add float values for these because the idea is that the throttle and brake and the steering is analog and of course just setting steering you need an input value to do that so we're going to go to set throttle then under the inputs uh, under the details panel at the bottom right we're going to add a new input we're going to call this uh, throttle because the idea is that we're currently updating the throttle code over here so something like that's perfect throttle and we're going to go click on this boolean over here and convert to float because the throttle like i said is an analog value between zero and one then we're going to go to set break and do about the same thing we're going to go to the bottom right under details add a new input this input's going to be called uh break uh break yeah should be good and then the float value is correct we're going to go to set steering add an input and we're just going to go ahead and call this steering awesome you can go ahead and compile and save and if we go to our vehicle ai and i for example drag off this get control pawn i can for example do set steering or set uh throttle which will in turn send this input to the current car we are controlling so now with very minimal effort we can actually make this ai use about the same inputs the player can now this isn't fully complete yet because we have a blueprint interface but we need to add it to the vehicles we want to use and uh, with the vehicle template there's one main blueprint that handles all the vehicles so let's go ahead and add that blueprint interface to that we're going to open up a content browser we're going to go to content folder go to vehicles um, actually don't go to vehicles go to vehicle template go to blueprint and there's going to be this uh, blueprint class it's going to be called vehicle advanced on now this is the parent uh, uh parent blueprint class of the sports car and the off-road car so any changes we make here will be made to these other two versions of the car so let's go ahead and open it up now if we open it up you can see here's the steering and throttle controls so here's the throttle here's the steering and here's the braking controls now we want to do about the same but now with our blueprint interface so we're going to just scroll out of here and then we're going to go to top left or the top specifically I go to class settings go to the bottom right under interfaces you want to click on implemented interfaces add and we want to type in bpi then we're going to find bpi is vehicle and now we have added our custom interface now if i go to the bottom left under my blueprint there's going to be interfaces there's going to be set steering set brake and set throttle let's go ahead and right click on set throttle and implement event now um this is the event that will be called when the ai sets the throttle value okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just move this a bit closer to the steering and throttle controls so i'd say somewhere about here in line with the steering and throttle and now we should do the same thing we do with our player controls but specifically for the ai so let's go ahead and look at the player throttle code 
And here you can see the only thing that happens is that we set the throttle input of the vehicle movement component. So let's go ahead and select the set throttle input and the vehicle movement component code. Press Ctrl C to copy it. And we move to our set throttle event over here and add the code over here. We're going to connect the execution pin and connect the throttle. So that is our throttle code, uh, code sorted. Now we need to do the steering. To do that, all you go to you do is you go to the bottom left under interfaces, right click on set steering, implement events, and now we have a steering event. Let's go ahead and move this closer to our throttle code over here. And all we have to do is copy the steering code we have here. So under this IA steering, all we do is copy the set steering input and vehicle movement components and press Ctrl C to copy. And then we can go to our event set steering, move it over here and just just connect this up again and then finally we can connect our brake controls now this is a bit difficult or more difficult than usual but um this implementation we're gonna have now isn't going to be too complex the reason is uh to make the brake lights work is pretty hard with ai so there's gonna be a specific video up in this series to talk about how to make the brake lights work a bit better anyway all we really want is the set brake input over here. So we want the set brake input and the vehicle movement component. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy that. And then we're going to just paste it over here. I forgot to actually make an event for the set brake. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to the bottom left under interfaces. Right click on set brake and implement event. And now it's all the way in the bottom over here. Let's go ahead and move it over here. And we're going to connect that uh, execution pin and connect the break value over here and now that we have all of this sorted let's go ahead and comment it so we're going to select the set throttle and set break or the set throttle and set steering and we're going to press c and we're just going to look at the comment blocks the one that epic left and it's steering and throttle controls we're just going to double click on this and call this ai set steering and the throttle and then finally we're going to select the set break stuff over here. Press C to comment it. We're going to call this AI set uh, break set breaking. Okay. And this is all our AI code sorted. If I go and compile and save, um, we need some way to test this. So if we go to our vehicle AI and for example on event sec, what we can do is we can go to the bottom left to our variables, drag in the control the vehicle, and then we can drag off that and do throttle. So you're going to see now this is set throttle message. If we add that, connect the event sick to it and set the throttle to one. Then if I compile and save and I go ahead and play, nothing happens. The car doesn't throttle. That's because a player is currently controlling the car. So Unreal Engine knows, oh wow, a player is currently controlling this. Um, the AI should not overtake this or should not override this without the specific um, instruction to do so. So in that case, you can open up your content browser, go to, uh, for example, sports car, and you can drag in the sports car. Now, if I hit play again, you can see still nothing happens but what's going on here an ai is taking control of this car because the player is taking control of this one and unreal engine knows oh yeah players not taking control of this one so yeah an ai is taking control of this car but it isn't the ai we made so if you see in the bottom right if i click on sports car pawn and you can see under pawn there's an auto possess player auto possess ai and ai controller class so here you can see the ai controller class is the ai controller now if i click on this you're going to see that this is the wrong AI controller. This is the base class we inherited our AIC from. So if we go to AIC vehicle AI and add that to the AI controller class, if I hit play, you can see now the car throttles. So the code we have here in tick now works. But there's one problem. We had to manually set the vehicle AI specifically for this car. And at the moment we add a new car, so if I add a new one and hit play, only one of them is going to throttle. And the other one was uh, just pushed there. But uh, the problem is that the AI isn't taking control of all the cars in the world. Now, in that case, all you have to do is open up your content browser. Actually, you just want to go to the vehicle advanced pawn, the one where you added the input. 
and then all you want to do is you want to click on vehicle advanced pawn self under components and then under search you want to type in ai and we should see there's under pawn there's auto possess ai and then there's the ai controller class now you just want to go ahead and change the ai controller class to aic vehicle ai and for the auto possess ai here's a few settings for how you want the ai to take over cars you can look at them and play around with them but this should be fine for now if we compile and save and now let's say i delete both of these cars the moment i add new cars so i'm just gonna add three over here if i hit play you can see they all three drive away because by default now every time this specific car spawns in um unreal engine will know oh yeah um your custom ai needs to take control of this because we specifically said that is the ai controller class for this car Okay, and now that we have tested that the throttle works, let's go ahead and test that the steering works. So we're going to go to the AIC vehicle AI. We're going to delete the set throttle, drag off controlled vehicle and do set steering. We're going to connect that uh, execution pin and the steering, let's set that to one, which means it's going to go fully to the right. We're going to press compile, save, hit play, and you can see, oh yeah, we forgot something. If we go to the vehicle AI, um, the car can't steer without a uh, throttle input so let's drag off this controlled vehicle and do a throttle input i'm just going to drag the set steering execution pin over here let's set the throttle to 0 0.1 and if i hit play now you can see the cars drive slowly but you can also see they do the turning which they should okay and then finally let's test the braking code so to test that all we have to do is set the throttle to one and drag off that set throttle and do a set break uh break uh so here Here's the set brake and you just want to go ahead and add that and then finally connect the controlled vehicle and set the brake to one and if i press compile and save what should happen is the cars can't really move forward because if we look in our ai controller now both the throttle and brake is working against each other so if your car did move in that scenario there is a problem with your brake code but uh yeah now we have an ai controller that can easily take control of cars the player is not taking control of as well as an easy input system that you can add to any vehicle you want specifically to make this ai controller work with any vehicle you want and uh, yeah that's it for this video in the next tutorial we'll make our ai car turn around the track so we're going to make a path specifically for the ai and then the ai will actually drive around the track so yeah i think that's it for this video thank you guys for watching if you like the content please subscribe hit like if you liked the video and hit dislike if you didn't and see you guys in the next one good night everybody